Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sunny, and I am back with more Raven of the Inner Palace. So last episode, we ended off with the Emperor having night terrors. He is being haunted, visited by his dead mother and dead uncle friend. And it looks like Jusetsu might be the only one that is able to help him at least according to this guy. So after quite a few little like mini mysteries going on around the palace, will we finally be getting to the heart of the story and having Jusetsu and the emperor have to, you know, actually work together? But will Jusetsu even be like willing to help him? I mean, we did see last episode that she is learning to interact with people more, but she still has this pressure of, you know, being the raven consort and kind of like not interacting with people and not having pity for the people that she helps. I'm really interested in their relationship and how it's gonna develop from here. So how about we just jump on into it and check it out. Let's go. Oh yeah, it was, this was so scary. Tela. <gasps> oh, it was a nightmare. Oh, that's it? Alright, so he's not gonna wanna talk to her, but is she going to oh, are they going to her right now? There's no need. She's like, yes, I know, but Oh, is he here? <laughs> he's here! Oh, another mystery? Nope, she already took it. <laughs> She's so grumpy, it's adorable. I'm tired. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's related to her? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's a different vibe, though. Oh, wow. Oh, she's Should be unknown to you? <laughs> <laughs> Even the other guy gives her a side eye. Mm. <gasps> She's like, Oh, he's getting mad. Oh, he trusts her. Oh, he why was he getting mad though? Was he like, <gasps> sleep deprivation? Oh. Oh my god, there they are. <laughs> Why did he fall? Oh. Mm hmm. <gasps> <gasps> that sounds like a threat, not a warning. Sure, oh, are they going to communicate? Damn, okay. Nah, he's acting weird. Damn. あなたは寮で定められた規則ではございませんし、高級の名簿にも載っていない。<笑><笑> Oh, okay. So he's got reasoning behind it, but... What is this 
お許しをいただけないでしょうかわかったありがとうございますだが無理はするなよ Hmm So he can't He can't wait he's gonna do it himself Okay Meaning the emperor is now alone and vulnerable Oh Oh Throat yo メノの曲あ、勝手にパンダの記録を当たれば誰のものだったかわかるはずだ。そうか。ならば見せてくれ、ヤカロ。それは。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ
She's here. Uh oh, something's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. It's so dark. Bruh. Oh, okay, good. Oh, this is the map. This is the map we always see. Is that the world? Is that this world? And, and it ends with the opening? What? What? Yo, this episode! What? It ends with the opening? Oh my gosh, this series. It keeps... It keeps just impressing me more and more. Or maybe I just keep having, like, low expectations for it. But no, it just keeps exceeding that every time. Wow. That was quite the switcheroo they pulled on us. I like that. This feels like a turning point in the series because of the opening being at the end. Like everything before this was like a prelude, you know? And now this is where the true story is gonna start. Damn, that was good. That was good and that's where it's gonna end. Oh man. The series is too freaking good. It's too freaking good. So I was thinking it was gonna like start divulging back into like kind of more of a surface level story, but then no, they pulled up with, I forget his name because their, their names are still really confusing to me, unfortunately. I can't, I have a hard time keeping track of their names. The emperor's like right hand man his backstory was not something I was expecting. I'm so surprised and honestly impressed because when he was first introduced, I kind of thought that he was going to be somebody that the emperor met like later on in life, you know, somebody that he uh, met while he was like trying to regain his empire or something, not somebody from his childhood and definitely not having such a traumatic past you know like he's coming from the red light district his mother has her dreams you know take like snatched away from her and so takes her own life and then he's given a choice of becoming a nuke or an sw and in the end they're both the same thing and it's like bruh and i think what makes it better is the way they handled it like nothing was over emphasized there was no there was no lingering on anything for like, you know, fan service or anything like that, like some animes tend to do. It's sad, but it served its purpose within the narrative. But yes, I was not expecting him to have such a tragic backstory like that. Like all these situations I feel like have a certain level of maturity with which they're being dealt with. Um, and it's not just about like, oh, the characters are going through and this is their next obstacle or blah, blah, blah. It's not very superficial. Like they don't linger on things, but it's not dealt in a uh, undermining type of way. So I think that's why I'm really impressed with this episode thus far. So I don't know about you guys, but I certainly felt like this past episode was like the beginning of something. Like, I feel like we've had teases of stuff that's like uh, an overarching overarching theme or overarching mystery, right? Relating to the previous dynasties, like people in power and everything. And I feel like last episode was the episode that's gonna start everything. But now, now we got this mysterious archives, I think, treasury um, that Jusetsu is in the middle of and who knows what she's gonna find probably more tragedy <sighs> so fun stuff so how about we just jump on into the next episode and check it out let's go oh. so it like came from that farthest island thing and it's going into the center island oh my god i have so many theories about what could possibly be going on baby be going on in this series like are there two people are there only like two people people meaning like a group of people that come from like both sides 
or I don't know. I don't know this. Oh, I'm so intrigued. It is the last episode that is currently out at the time of this recording. So I'm going to have to wait. Haku. Haku. Oh. Oh. She was the second princess of the last emperor. <gasps> oh. Only 24? Damn. She ran. <gasps> wow. This turmoil. Oh. <gasps> the blade? They still have the blade? Oh. Oh, there he is. Isn't that the guy? That's cool. Yeah. So, and he said he was related to her, kind of somehow. Oh. The grandson. The grandson. Oh man. That's kind of like what she's doing now. Don't tell me there's. Mm. Oh. Okay. <gasps> watch where you're, just watch where you're going. Oh. You're going to be a little bit of 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 a no answer. Oh. Oh. Don't poke. Damn. Tells her back. Mm, that's right. I don't think so. I don't think it's that they resent him. Oh. The old guy? Huh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. He has to. We gotta find out. We gotta find out. The origin? The origin? Her origin? Oh my god, what is it? We're not gonna find out. Ah! We're not gonna find out. Oh, she's making an offering to this goddess. Huh? There's summer in your name and winter. <gasps> oh my god. They're like two sides of the same coin? Or two parallel lines? What is going on? <gasps> what is going on? Oh, she's gonna show him. She's gonna show him. Here we go. Oh? Eight thousand and one nights? Damn. Do their dynasties like flip or something? ダンオであるナツノオは祭りごと。ミコオであるフユノオは最初を司っ<笑> And killed her. Damn. Loved her enough to kill her? Jeez, come on now. Oh! Oh, okay, so this was centuries ago. <gasps> the previous? Oh wow! The two kings? Wow! 
けた蘭雄が派遣を取るのにそう長くはかからなかった。あ、uh、あ -oh.。But so how did that lead us here? 夏の王も滅びる。冬の王の存在なのだ。That's why the ending is the end. Oh my god! 僕は冬の王を殺した。Oh, okay, yeah. Now, did she return? <gasps> oh, so he took her on as a consort? <gasps> Damn! She just stayed silent and accepted it. She didn't... Aww. That's a watch. <gasps> so just erase that entire history. It's okay. It, it'll be their love that breaks this. <laughs> That fixes it or something. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, that's exactly what she's saying. Sonata. Tatabi, who know, none or it. Yanixani Naria Mosirinoni. Daka, <laughs> so talons in me, damn. She can't be. Oh my god. Oh no, like she physically cannot leave? <gasps> what was that? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, she's mad. Oh my god. <gasps> no! She did say, like, it could be a ghost. No! No! <laughs> oh my god! That god! No! <gasps> Damn! And so now the ending makes so much sense, too! This series is so good. This series, like, needs more attention. It needs more people to understand the beauty of it. Because, like, it's too good. It's literally too good. Oh, my gosh. God. Okay. Is there anything after? No. But, and then, like, like, the way they're... The way they're like there, I just want. I just want them to be happy together. It's possible they won't be, but still. Gosh dang it. Proof of this pain. The snow that falls in the summer. Gosh! It's... It, okay, this show is too good. It's, it's too good. I knew there was something more. Like, there had to be something more with the the raven consort and the emperor, right? Because they this whole time... Like, they always start off with this small, like, short little blurb about the raven consort. And it ends with, like, the raven consort cannot interact with the emperor or whatever and now it's like oh my god that's what was drilled into her head essentially like she she knows the truth of what happened in the past but she has to live with it on her own because 
of the con consequences if she were to like flee or to spread the truth to the world could be like detrimental. It could be huge loss for everyone. And so that's why she's had to live on her own for the past, what, 16 years? Or like since the previous concert died? It's like, bruh. Oh my god. This is the type of stuff I live for. Why enemies to lovers? Because they're technically on the same side. They're just on... They just can't like be together because of the past. But this type of like kind of tragic, like star-crossed type of story is like, ugh. And the way they were explaining it was really well done. I love the fact that they went back to this like shadow paper shadow puppet type storytelling for the past um but then they still mixed in like you know normal animation to kind of like highlight what was more prominent to the story to the current story you know like as the story went forward in time i really want them to end up together so i really hope that they can and that their love will be what like kind of breaks this like curse that this goddess has kind of put on them but see the thing is it's like it's not even really a curse because it's just like a balancing system of how the world would be mostly at peace you know like yes jusetsu is kind of like cursed to be alone but the world will remain at balance if she and the emperor like are both around so it's like but separate so it's like oh gosh <sighs> darn it this is too good this was this was okay this was the episode i was wanting i was waiting for i wasn't expecting the series to like quite to escalate quite as much as it has i thought it was gonna stay mostly like like i didn't think it would it would pull so much supernatural into the main story i thought it would stay more like so when it came to light that like the whole world is based around this like supernatural balancing scheme it's like what? What? It's so good. More people need to watch this show. And now this ghost is like threatening Juju. Oh my gosh. I need the next episode like right now. But I can't. I gotta wait. So. So in the meantime, until the next episode comes out, let me know what you guys thought about this episode and the series thus far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Head on over to Patreon for high quality and extended episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.